Still smarting from your Summit tractor recommendations, I almost sold my Kubota and replaced it with a Summit. Now we find out that you were only promoting it short term for some quick cash. So disappointed, I had held your opinions in high regard. I get stuff like this a lot about basically everything I do. It is amazing how serious some people take things and how misconstrued some people take things. I uh, was at a basketball game watching my son yesterday when this one came through, so thanks for, thanks for that email there. I uh, saw that and then didn't reply right away, but then it just ate at me, so I replied and said, when did I stop saying the Summit was a good tractor? When did I stop recommending it? I've continued to do the opposite, even though I don't work with them. So please point out when I started bashing the Summit tractor. Or are you sad that it's not explicitly called out in every video because there is a difference? Am I required to work with a company forever once I start working with them? So he replied and said basically that uh, I can do whatever I want. I don't owe him an explanation. So I don't know why he emailed me, I guess just to vent. But I think it is good to point out and reiterate the fact that I have already mentioned multiple times for folks that actually watch my videos, all of them, that I still recommend Summit. I still think it's a great value and that it was a marketing deal and everything has an end date. There's an expiration date on everything. And I think it's a good value. I still think it's a tractor I recommend. I just don't work with the company anymore. And so I don't have the tractor here to show you in every single video. I don't, I don't get paid by Coyote. I don't get paid by John Deere. I don't get paid by Kubota, but I do carry those tractors as used machines that I buy with my own money, bring in and then resell. And I also use tractors to showcase all the attachments that I sell so that for all of you out there that have tractors already and need a new attachment, you can see how they work. And visually, you guys want to see all sorts of different tractors, right? Because otherwise it sometimes doesn't sink in that, oh, that I guess that tool can work with my tractor too, until you actually see it out there working with your model of tractor. And so it's going to be it's going to take a long time for me to, to show every single tractor out there, and I probably never will. But I still like to mix it up and show different things. And so that was one of the appeals of working with Summit for that period of time was the fact that I could show all of my own tractor tools on that tractor. So a totally different machine size that I had never used before, working with grapples and working with stuff on the three-point and all four seasons and how it works, a different width of attachment, you know, because maybe a Maybe you have a similar size machine and you're wondering what size tool to use on there. Well, now you have a better idea of how to do that. So I, I think it's, um, you're right. I don't owe him a response, but I am, that's just not my style, right? I, I take everything very personally, even though that's a bad combination to be on YouTube or on social media or in any kind of the public eye. I am fully aware of that. And I still, I, I, I struggle because I am, as transparent as I need to be. I don't have to share anything with anybody. It's a, I'm not a publicly traded company, but I, I try to do things the right way. And I think that there's just misunderstandings of, or folks choose, or they skip videos, or they don't watch everything, or they only watch the first third of a video. And maybe I talk about it in the last two minutes of the video, saying something in particular that's relevant. In this case, how I still recommend Summit. And that's why I also repeat myself a lot is because I know that folks don't listen. So I'm, I'm guilty of the same thing, right? So if you miss it the first time, maybe you hear it the second time or the third time, or we put it in writing, we put it on a screen, I say it, we do all sorts of different ways to get you guys to, to catch on and let it sink into because, well, you gotta hear more than once sometimes, just like I do. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. I think the longer you live, the more knowledge you are hopefully gaining. And so, um, your opinions on, on any subject should most likely change. I think you're going to, as long as you're not looking at it only from a one-sided scenario, right? You're only looking to get and glean information that support your current view. I, I think you should look to have a well-rounded, a full 
picture of, in this case, the tractor market, right? And so when I started out buying and selling years ago, I really did focus only on Deere and Kubota, and I still do. And part of that reason is because of their resale value. Well, that's not even the right term. I would say their ease of resale because they are so dominant in the market. Those two manufacturers are already doing the marketing for me, right? And so that makes um, my job a lot easier to resell them because it becomes a um, an easier an easier way to sell a tractor if more people want it, right? So that way, if the next person that gets it and they want to get rid of it, it's going to be easier for them to sell too. So that's important. I don't want to leave somebody stranded out there uh, making it difficult to unload their equipment after they buy it because you never know. We've done videos on why people sell low hour tractors and that's for good reason because all the tractors that I buy are low hour. And so people sell low hour tractors all the time. They maybe don't think they're going to but then life changes and they need to. So you wanna be able to position yourself in a way where you can minimize your loss and unload your equipment quickly. That's why I'm selling Coyote now too, is because they've reached that level, in my opinion, all right? And the used market in particular, which is where I specialize in. Um, you know, I, I've, I've talked to some various brands about becoming a new equipment dealer, a new tractor dealer. I'm not really sold on that. That's a whole another level of headache. Uh, as far as having to build out a bigger facility, um, hire a lot more employees. And I just don't really know if I want to go down that road. Um, and maybe I will at some point, but you just never know where life's going to take you. And I never stopped recommending Summit is basically what this comes down to. So I still think it's a good value. I think that that company is built out. I would do the same exact thing. That's how I would do it. And that's part of my reservation on wanting to get a traditional dealership is I like the, the model that Summit has. I think that's a smarter way to do it. And it aligns with how I sell tractor attachments, right? Online, e-commerce. It's a, uh, a different philosophy. And I think the agricultural industry in general is slow to catch up with the rest of the world. I think they lag behind everywhere from parent manufacturers of tractors and, 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 and attachments down to distributors, down to dealers and then to the end user. It's just an archaic way of doing it. And that's why I'm trying to do things differently in my business as well. So long story short, I want to take the time to respond to that. That way to, there's, there's clearing up any potential misconceptions out there that I'm somehow, just because Summit's not, I'm not on a Summit tractor every day means I don't recommend them anymore because that is far from the truth. So on that note, I don't have any Summit tractors for sale. Maybe someday I will once there's enough of them out there and start to get turnover into the used market. But we do have John Deere, Kubota, and Coyote tractors for sale. Nice pre-owned stuff, low hours. Most of it has warranties on it too, and our prices include shipping as well. You can check that stuff out along with tractor attachments. Brand new tractor attachments from all sorts of manufacturers for your front end loader or your three-point hitch. We sell and ship nationwide every day of the week. I'd love for you to check it out at goodworkstractors.com. If you have any questions about getting the right fit, the right size for your tractor, the right hookup, if you don't know, I'd love for you to ask before you buy. That way you are set up for success when it shows up at your house and you're ready to put it to work. GoodWorksTractors.com. Thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Okay.